Taxpayers fund our local police departments and we expect them to keep us safe. But in a 13 Investigates exclusive, one officer's actions in a neighborhood near Twain and El Capitan are being called into question by a family who filed a formal complaint with Metro. The videos you're about to see show a cop from the Summerlin Area Command whose aggressive actions are currently under internal investigation. Police have asked the public to share their doorbell and surveillance videos to help investigate crime, but they can also catch cops. It was atrocious. It was disconcerting. It was ugly. Behaving badly. It was a tirade. It was so you know, shocking and against what I know their policies to be. Run your mouth! 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 Might have been one of the worst police interactions I've seen in in terms of professionalism. Keep running! Keep running! Keep running! Keep running! Okay. It was a shame to see, and and you know, I'm I'm glad that we had the footage to give you. Lula Bello is a disabled veteran who became a criminal defense attorney after serving in the Iraq War with the United States Marines. He still serves today, but in a different way. Me and my sister both started a company, Dutch Valley Dreams. We work with formerly incarcerated individuals to help them work their way back into society. Helping with everything from school. Part of what they want you to do is take a placement exam. To jobs. Tony's got to be up to work at 8.30 every day. He even allows some clients to stay in his family's home until they can afford a place of their own. The house on Dutch Valley Drive is across the street from Bendorf Elementary School. Cops around this neighborhood routinely patrol around the school, around my um, street, Dutch Valley, and I'd say there, it would be odd if they weren't driving by. But he says this officer's behavior Come here! Bring on! is not. The video that we sent you involves um, one of our community members up here by the name of uh, Tony. So Tony's been doing really well. He has gotten a job with one of our partners, Hana Sushi, and in so doing has made a good friendship with the owner up there. The owner had a problem uh, rolling down his window, his driver's side window. On October 21st, 2023, Tony brought his boss's truck to Lou's, where he keeps his tools to work on the window, but he parked it on the street facing the wrong way. It was illegally parked at the corner of my RV parking. And when the cops had rolled by and noticed that, they stopped. In the video, the officer explains to Lou that there's also an issue with the license plate. I can make his like a freaking tell. I've been leaving you guys alone and being cool. And then when I come out here, the cars, you don't hope that there's a plate on it that goes to another car. So I have every reason to be here. I'm what the problem Because of the officer's behavior toward yeah, him. Right you check this out, bro. If I see you and I can find what? any reason to stop you now, what? I will. Tony said he did not want to speak to us on camera, but he did tell us he tried to defuse things that October day. Then the officer had started to look down the street and he noticed um, a motorcycle that was you know, between my house and the neighbors. It was Tony's bike. There was no issue with it. The cops didn't take it, but Tony did question them. I'm making what you're doing on my bike. And that just set off a hurricane of anger and testosterone and aggression. As Tony walks away. Not only is he a danger to himself, and is he is a danger to the people that he interacts with, but now you're making the job more dangerous for all the good cops out there that, that know how to de-escalate and know how to treat the public. Another officer who was at Lou's house calmly explained things. Drugs doesn't belong to you, nothing like that. We'll do our job, get out of your guys' hair. Simple as that. 
Who at this location was cited that day? No one. Who was arrested that day? No one. Who was charged with anything that day? No one. And that remains true to this day. No charges for either Lou or Tony in connection with this interaction or the circumstances surrounding it. In response to a public records request made by 13 Investigates, Metro confirmed that. In fact, police didn't even create an incident report, but they did tow the truck. 13 Investigates also requested the police body camera footage from that day. At first, Metro sent us this invoice for nearly $700 to cover the time it would take them to blur faces, saying the Nevada Supreme Court recently held that officers' faces captured on body-worn camera videos are confidential. Shortly after sending us this bill, Metro reduced its per hour fee for redaction, so we resubmitted our request. But that time, they denied it altogether, saying this case is currently under investigation by our internal affairs detectives. Lou's family filed a formal complaint concerned not only about that day, but also future interactions between that officer and the public. If you can't control your verbal continuum of force, how are you going to control your physical continuum of force? Metro's code of ethics requires officers to maintain calm in the face of danger, scorn, or ridicule, develop self-restraint, and be constantly mindful of the welfare of others. They must swear to enforce the law courteously and never act officiously. What does officious mean? It's defined in the dictionary as assertive of authority. Are you in an annoyingly domineering way. I can make his life a living hell. Especially with regard to petty or trivial matters. Metro won't comment at this time. In an email, the Internal Affairs Bureau told Lou's family that when the investigation is complete, they'll get a letter in the mail with the disposition. When they do, we'll let you know what it says. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.